Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video, and today I want to talk about if PUBG is fun still after 1500 games. And yes, I have played 1500 games of PUBG on my Xbox profile. I checked in, it's about 1500. So, first of all, it is still fun. And let me tell you the biggest reason why. The biggest reason why PUBG is still fun is because there are still things that I am learning that I did not even know. I didn't know, okay? And I, there's still things I'm getting better at, right? A good example of this is, um, let's say the 2x scope, right? I used to suck with the 2x scope because of the weird sensitivity settings of PUBG. And now, I can use it a lot better. I can use, you know, um, as opposed to um, when I first started playing PUBG, even I would say when the game first came out, there are guns now that I can use a lot better than guns that I thought I couldn't use. Not necessarily the crossbow, because I don't use the crossbow, but things like the Micro Uzi, the Thompson, the DP-28, even the AKM, those are all guns that I can use now that I used to be really bad at using before. Range is another thing that I'm getting better at. Not necessarily accuracy-wise, because uh, to me, the first shot of your gun, that's a lot of sensitivity and being used to sensitivity. I'm more um, talking about uh, picking different scopes for different ranges, right? Like the 8x scope. I used to be afraid of using the 8x scope on a gun other than a sniper rifle, and even then, I still suck with the bolt actions, so I don't really use the bolt actions. Now I can pop the 8x on an M4 or an AKM and do pretty good with it. Sniper rifles, that's another thing that I've been working on. My bolt action skills have definitely gotten better. Just the other day I was live streaming and it cut out, be it cut out before this happened. Um, but I was, Forrest was AFK, I remember this, my friend Forrest was AFK. And I was in a building, and there was this big open field, right? And I was inside the building with a car 98. I downed someone with two shots, and it took, like, I think, took me, like, three or four more shots, and I killed his teammate. I could not do that off of 100. If I used the car 98K exclusively for 100 games, I don't think I could do that. So it's little things like that that I can see the progress um, I could see the, the skill progress. It's really easy to see the skill progress. PUBG is a game that, you know, you refine your skills just every little bit. Every little bit. You know, how much ammo do I usually carry? How much ammo do I use? You know, I say this all the time. I usually only use about 90 AR rounds in a whole game. Unless I play aggressive. Then I do that. So occasionally I have the game where I use a lot of AR rounds because me and this guy are dodging a lot. But most of the time I use about 90 AR rounds. So I'm actually carrying less ammo than I used to. You know, I used to carry, like if I had an M4, I'd carry 250 spare rounds. Okay? There is a, there's no situation other than me actively trying to fight every single person that I could imagine myself using 250 rounds. And so because of this, here's this, here's this, get this. Because of this, um, you know, ammo that I'm not carrying, I have more space. What does it fill up with? Different types of scopes and grenades. And now I'm getting better at using grenades, specifically the smoke grenade. I'm getting really good at using smoke grenades. And I've been putting them in good places. I've been remembering to use them. A lot of times when you're in a firefight, you forget to use a smoke grenade. And I, I'm remembering to use a smoke grenade. And I'm remembering how, when to use a frag grenade. And I'm also getting really good at flanking. You know, I used to be, um, basically my, I used to play one way, which was if you get shot at, you get in cover and heal. But there's a couple instances where even though I got shot maybe once or twice, I'm at half health, I could still pull off, you know, a win in a firefight. So it's pretty cool. I've been using the, I call it the blue aids, the, the, the force field blue zone. I've been using that to my advantages. There's a couple points where I'm like, okay, I'm not going to take a lot of damage. I can heal after this. I'm going to stay in this, let these people 
walk in front of me so I'm in the blue zone behind them. They don't expect me and I kill both of them. I've done that before. And that's all because of this 1,500 games of experience. It's still fun for me. Playing solo is still fun. Duos and squads, of course, you know, in duos and squads, you mess around with each other sometimes. But um, I think now that I'm at the 1,500 games, I think that most of the stuff that I could learn, I pretty much learned. Now it's just, I guess you could call it, I guess, skill building, like learning the grenade timers better, you know, learning bullet drop. And I think what I have left to learn is vehicle combat I'm really bad at. I can't use the vehicles very well. But then also like team dynamics of snipe, you know, one person snipe, one person flank, da 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 da. Those team dynamics. I'm really good at those in duos, not so good in squads. So that's that's what I have to say. PUBG, 1500 games in, still really, really fun. There's a couple aspects of it that get boring, you know, such as playing, uh, you know, you kind of have your favorite spots to drop. And then I don't, I have my favorite spots, you know, if I want to win, but I don't like to drop at those spots anymore. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you played 1500 games of PUBG? Is it still fun for you? So leave all your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.